Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a October book haul. I'm not going to be filming one of these every month because I ain't going to be buying 5 billion books every month. Probably not even one book every month. Um, but this month has been very buying heavy for books. Um, today I have 21 books in front of me. I'm going to be doing a little free libraries tomorrow actually <coughs> and then i also have i uh, want to i think seven more books that i've bought on amazon that are going to be arriving before the end of the month so all of those are going to count towards this video hey guys welcome back to my channel so it has been a long time i literally can't remember the last time i filmed a video um but today we are filming a different kind of video you might be able to tell from watching me clear this shelf I am going through my books and um, this is a book haul so all the books that are up there are books that I have bought this month it is the 23rd of October I have a lot more books coming but a lot of these books are gifts so I want to get this filmed or at least get those books filmed and then I'll just like film when the rest of them arrive my um library had a book sale this weekend the first one they gave us was bram stoker's dracula i do actually already have a copy of this i went with my mum and we both got a coupon for two free books they gave me the hardcover books for free so the first four hardcovers you see were free. I'm going to do the books I got for my niece first. I got five Horrid Henry books. Horrid Henry's Haunted House by Francesca Simon. Um, I'm also going to give her this for Halloween. I have a pile of Halloween stuff I'm going to give her. Um, and then I also got Horrid Henry's birthday party. Her birthday is in November. It's like the beginning of November. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to give her this one for her birthday. <clears throat> and then for Christmas, I'm giving her Horrid Henry Reads a Book. <coughs> oh my god. And Horrid Henry's Christmas Presents and Horrid Henry's Christmas Play. And those are all by Francesca Simon. Um, and then I also got... So my niece goes to a Spanish bilingual school so half of the day is in spanish the other half of the day is in english so i picked her up this my first spanish um word book i have a suspicion this is going to be too young for her because she is it does say three to seven and she is at the higher end she has a less than year old sister um who was born in march now is october yeah i think i don't know my brain isn't working if this is too young for the older daughter the younger sister can use this when she gets older and then i got i picked up a few books from my dad um i picked up these books for my dad so i did go on two different days to the book um store thing um i went on thursday when it opened which is when i bought all of the stuff for my niece I also picked up this book on that day and this is The Computers of Star Trek by Lois Gresh and Robert Weinberg and it um it, it is all about the computers of Star Trek oddly enough there were like diagrams and stuff like this and obviously other wordy bits but there is, there's like a lot of diagrams and stuff I say a lot and I can't find another one. But I think it also has a little bit of cord. I don't know cord, so I don't know if this is cord. Um, it might be actual cord. I don't know. But my dad works in computers. That is what his job is. He's a computer guy. So I thought this would be good for my dad because he also likes Star Trek. I went on Sunday the last day because on Thursday it was so packed. I didn't really get to look around. Pro I mean, I did. I got a lot of books. But I also didn't. And um, so these books were the ones I got on the Sunday. 
these four books cost me eight dollars so we're done with all the oh i didn't one second all right um this book was free this book was free a book my mum picked up was free and then this book was also free i i'll go over that in a minute um but then all five of these there is four right here one's over there um all five of these were 50 pence each um so i picked up this this is captain chesley sully sullenberger um highest duty i picked up this for my dad i thought this might be interesting for him not that he's into planes or anything but like we all know about the guy who landed the plane in the hudson then i also got him these books i don't know what the book series is i think it's the american yeah the american wilderness slash time life books now that means that these are from the early 70s the so pitch quality isn't the best he said but i mean it's not bad like you can you probably can't tell what is this this actually looks really good on the camera um but in person it's like it's not as crisp as if the same picture was taken today kind of thing i i saw these two on the uh thursday when i went and then i saw this one the grand canyon um on the sunday so i decided to pick them up so it's just i don't fully know what it is it's just a book on the grand canyon but it's like it's mostly pictures i mean there is some words but it's it's just like there is pages that it's like a full i just thought it would be a nice book for him to have to look at i also got him the ozarks the ozarks are where my parents went in the summer so i thought this one would be interesting for him and then finally i got him a book on the bayous the owls i don't know how you say the word it's, it's that the bayous um we were talking about this M me and my dad like watching um videos oh wow well, it's not videos it's a tv program that is like uh, pretty much like a david attenborough thing but about the country as in like there's one on the great lakes there's a lot in england that are filmed I don't know if i if i find out what it was called i'll put it here and we watched one of them that was talking about a bayo and i asked him what a bayo was and he told me a lot so i thought he might like this book it's a little nod to that conversation that you probably forgot we even had um they're all the gifts that i got then these are all the books that i bought this one um is the other one i got for free the last one um and this is my calamity jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jodie Meadows. I thought I picked up my plain Jane on one of my little library stints, thinking that it was a one-off book. Come to find out, it's a whole series. So I saw this one. I thought that one was the first one. I'll be honest. Um, then I found out it wasn't. So I saw this one and thought, oh, maybe this is the first one. It's not. This is the third one. There's three books. Um, that are in the the my something jane series i think it's called the lady Janies, but I don't, I don't know if that includes the um queen mary books as well or whatever it's somebody mary the my plain jane is second this is third so i've ordered my lady jane on amazon so that one will be here soon these five books were a dollar i almost said a pound so i think i also got one of the horrid henry books for free because it cost me seven dollars for 15 books but the 15 included the five free ones i picked up these these are ali condi's matched and ali condi's crossed this is book one this is book two there's also a book three that i haven't bought um i'm not gonna buy it until i decide if i like these but i i picked up these because in my little library thing that i did i saw i think it was this book but i'm not 100 percent sure I seem to recall seeing them. I picked it up, but I must have put it back because it is not in my collection anymore. I had this book at one point, but I couldn't remember if it was actually this book or if it was a different one in the series. So I picked up both of them. <laughs> this haul is not going to be me being like, oh, this book is about this, this and this, because 
I've ordered so many books, or <laughs> bought so many books in this month, um, that I'm not going to be doing that. And to be honest, most of the books I don't know anything about. Um, Alright, this book I picked up, this is Max by... Do, 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 do. Jennifer Lee Schotts. But I remembered seeing this when the film first came out. Like, I remembered watching the trailer, thinking, oh, it sounded pretty good. Um, so I saw it and picked it up. That's the thought behind that book. And then I picked up One Good Dog by Susan. I said this last time. I picked up One Good Dog by Susan Wilson. I don't know why I keep saying Suzanne. It's a completely different name. Um, I picked up this one. I don't know. I don't know why I picked it up. Um, I just thought it sounded good. And by sounded good, I mean I liked the picture. I When I'm doing, like, buying books for really cheap or the little free libraries, I just go based on cover. I think I already said this in the video earlier. But, like, if the cover looks nice, I'm like, yep, we'll have that. Then I picked up P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Ahern. I'll be honest, I think I might donate this to the little free libraries as well. Um, I don't even know why I picked it up. It does say it's now a major motion picture, so I might watch the film. That might have been why I picked it up. I think I might have picked it up because I recognised the name. I don't know. But I think I'm going to watch the trailer for P.S. I Love You. If I like the look of the trailer, I'll keep it. If I don't, I'm going to look for libraries this. These are books that I bought from an actual bookstore, not a second-hand bookstore. Although this one, Miley Cyrus Miles to Go, this was a second-hand book. Me and my parents, we were driving to a bookstore that I've always wanted to go to. They went when it first opened and I've driven past it a lot and wanted to go into there. So we went in, turns out they were closing. Um, so I picked up this book, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, and when we were looking around, I also saw this book and I kind of got excited and said to my parents, oh, I have that book. I used to read that all the time. I loved it as a kid got home and I decided I wanted to look at it again just for the nostalgia couldn't find it anywhere I've got no idea where the book is it's probably packed in a box somewhere if I didn't get rid of it I don't know why I'd have gotten rid of it but I can't see it so I must have done um so I bought it again I, I went back and bought it uh, the next weekend because they were only open weekends because they're closing um 50p is how much it's cost what cost me so it cost me 58 cents to buy and um, so it was actually cheaper than the library bookstore because it's a library it was hardback so it would have cost me two dollars which still isn't bad okay then also from that bookstore when we went the first time i picked up i'm glad my mom died by jeanette mccurdy uh because i heard it sounded really good like i've heard great things about it it's some people's fi like a five star read for some people I was like, all right, got it. Don't know where I'm going to read it, but got it. <laughs> Whoever said that buying books and reading books are two different hobbies are 100% correct. Because I, I have so many books and I've barely read any of them. It's more that I read library books because I read a lot. Um, I just don't read my books very much. Since May, I'm going completely off topic, but since May, I have read so many books like I read seven books last month last month being September only three of them were actually my books <laughs> the rest of them were library books the last book that I actually have currently is Icebreakers by Hannah Grace I heard good things about this and I, I kept seeing it around town in like Walmart and Target and stuff and I I haven't picked it up because for Christmas I've asked for a Kindle and at least one month of Kindle Unlimited and I was pretty sure I'd seen people reading it on Kindle Unlimited when I google it turns out it's no longer on Kindle Unlimited so I went out and bought the book the very next day I'm really looking forward to reading it I think I might read it next month I think being on an ice rink I know that's not Christmassy but at the same time it kind of the cold makes you think of Christmas um, so yeah, so I've got this book. Alright, so that is all the books I have with me currently. When I receive more books, 
I will film the rest of this video. But I'm gonna wait until probably the end of the month when I get all of them. Okay, so a big pile has arrived. Um, I know the big box isn't books, but I'm just gonna show them anyway. I have opened them, but I haven't like pulled the books out. So I've made it as quick as I can. Um, Louie, can you, can you, can you go please? The next book we have is As Good As Dead, the American version. At least, I think it's the American version. This is the British version. So I'm going to be returning this because this is the British version. And I know I've already got... Oh! Okay. Okay, so this is the American version. Okay, so I have two American versions and one British version. This is my brother's book. So I already have the first one. I can't remember if I talked about this in my other video. Um, but I have the first one of my brother's book. I've read these two just not the physical hello Eddie Bill but not the physical copies I read the um the rough drafts Eddie Bill <laughs> um, but then I have The Dark Mountain and The Rescue of the Elven Queen Eddie, Eddie Bill okay and then oh this is damaged uh, um, but yeah, I got using them up rising in a hardback, but it has a bit of damage to the spine. But so this is I did not know I was getting a signed copy. Well you could tell I wasn't expecting that. Alright. Okay, and then we have this. This is my Hello Taco. Okay, so we have two of the um, nail polish shelves. I already have two, now I have four. This is what they look like, by the way. Um, well, you don't need that kind of, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Louis, I thought we had a deal. Our deal was that you would sit and be a good boy until mommy finished her video. And you're kind of, kind of in my way again, bud. So yeah, so I have the nail oil pen and two refills. And also a tip card for that. Okay, and then in here is all the polishes. Oh, I love the boxes. The boxes are so nice. So I got the cracked taco shell, which is like the cracked nail polish trend. Cool cat mom. Oh, this is so pretty. So you have the colour and then you can like hold this onto it and swipe it and you can see it. Okay, then we have Xyla Cat Eye. Yeah, Xyla Cat Eye. Xyla is one of her cat- no, I'm keeping that. Yeah, this is what they'll look like. So this one has that stripe. This one has that stripe. So I believe the darker colour is the actual nail polish. And then the stripes is the um, polish once it's been magnetised. Yeah, so this is Xyla Cat Eye. And then I have Menchie Cat Eye, which is like a greeny. I'm not sure how much wear I'm going to get out of this one, if I'm being completely honest. But, no, actually, that's quite nice. Okay, in, in person, it looks nicer than it does on camera. I still have a few more books that are going to be arriving. So we will... I'll get back to you when they arrive. Okay, so I realised when I filmed earlier, I didn't show you these books. The books that I got from the um, little libraries. So yeah, so I picked up The Lovely Bones by Alice Sibold. Got no idea why I picked it up. I don't know, just did. Don't know what it's about. I haven't got a clue. And then I picked up Catching Fire and Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. Um, because obviously I've heard good things about it, so I picked picked them up. I went to Target today and I picked up The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins and then I also got The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes also by Suzanne Collins. I also got this, um, this is This Winter by Alice Osman um, but I have all of Heartstopper so I picked up this one. I also have another little novella called Nick and Charlie. So this is another one and I plan to reread all of them like every hot stuff book I own, now including this one, um, when the 
this one comes out. And then I also picked up Killjoy by Holly Jackson. Um, I have already read it, but I just, I wanted the entirety of the series and I, I like this one. And then I picked up the American version of As Good As Dead. The final two books have come. I have already unpackaged them just so I could put it in the recycling. So if you remember, I bought these books. Well, I already had this one. But I bought these two books that are written by my brother. I also bought them in one complete saga so I don't have to sit and read each individual. Like, it has the contents of all of them. Um, yeah, so I can, I can sit and read this one book and be reading all three of them at once. This is the final book I'm going to talk about. This is My Lady Jane <coughs> by Cynthia Hand, Brodie Ashton and Geordie Meadows. So now I have the entire trilogy. This was actually an ex-library book that came all the way to me from Orange County in Virginia. I think so that was all of the books I've bought and ordered throughout the month of January um it's a lot I'm probably not gonna do a book haul for a while I might do one after Christmas depending on how many books I get for Christmas I think I'm gonna film a what I read this month video next month so for throughout November I want to say that it's not gonna be that interesting because I am starting a new job on Thursday. I'm gonna start I'm gonna be starting a new job on Thursday. Ignore the dogs. I think my mum's just got home. Um so I'll now have two jobs, one full time, one part time. Um and then I don't I just don't know how much reading I'm gonna get to do. So I am reading all of like childhood books. So that is what this is up here. That is my TBR. But yeah. All right. Thanks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.